Present to you, Bishop Dr. W.F. Houston, Jr. Praise the Lord, beloved. Welcome to CHOF Bible Fellowship. I pray that your time with me will bring you love, joy, peace, wisdom, and knowledge. You know, beloved, in this age of social media and fast foods, sometimes life gets unnoticeably busy. The smaller things get pushed to the back of our mind. But being considerate of people's feelings, their circumstances, and their background are important steps that we should always take. Sure, you can buy gifts for one another, but you can never buy them love and respect. But when you're considerate of them, you can give them just that. Today, our topic is called Prudent Individuals Contemplate Other People's Feelings. And our focal Bible verse for today is James 3.17. And today I will be reading from the New Living Translation Bible. So here we go. The Bible verse for today reads in this manner. But the wisdom from above is first of all pure. It is also peace-loving gentle at all times, and willing to yield to others. It is full of mercy and the fruit of good deeds. It shows no favoritism and is always sincere. Once again, our Bible verse for today reads in this manner. But the wisdom from above is first of all pure. It is also peace-loving, gentle at all times, and willing to yield to others. It is full of mercy and the fruit of good deeds. It shows no favoritism and is always sincere. You know, two of the biggest errors we make in relationships are one, when we react to what people say and not how they feel. And two, when we invalidate someone else's feelings because we don't feel the way they do. Beloved, there's a simple solution for both of these errors. And that simple solution is being considerate. That's right. We have to be considerate. Let's look at error number one. We react without trying to understand. In other words, we pay too much attention to someone's words and not enough attention to the emotions behind the words. You see, most of the time, people say things when they're angry that they don't even mean. 
They use words they don't even intend to use. And most of the time they exaggerate or amplify things. Beloved, you must look behind the words and at the emotion because people don't always say what they mean, but they always feel what they feel. So if you're wise in a relationship, you must stop focusing on what your kids or your husband or your boyfriend or your wife or a fellow employee or what your boss says that makes you mad or upset and start being understanding. Now, I know that's easier said than done, but practice makes one become more observant. In other words, my friends, this simply means you'll become more mindful of the feelings of others. Beloved, unkind people are those who need your kindness the most. Now, if you think about it, when most people are rude and unkind, they're actually screaming to the world, I'm in pain. You see, hurt people always hurt people. Amen. Now, let's look at error number two. We invalidate any feelings that we don't feel ourselves. In other words, this is when you believe something is senseless and ridiculous or irrational because it's not what you feel, so you dismiss it. Beloved, let me ask you this. Can one person be cold and another be warm at the same time? Of course they can. So why try to argue people out of what they feel? You see, when we dismiss someone else's feelings because we don't feel what they feel, we belittle the other person. That's right. We're being cruel to them and making them feel less important. You see, being overly critical will eventually depreciate their worth. And as a Christian, we shouldn't intentionally destroy anyone. I find that Proverbs 12, 18 says, some people make cutting remarks, but the words of the wise bring healing. I find that James 1, 26 says, if you claim to be religious, but don't control your tongue, you're fooling yourself and your religion is worthless. And I find that in Romans 12, 17 through 18, it says, never pay back evil with more evil. Do things in such a way that everyone can see you're honorable. Do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. Guys, if your girlfriend or your wife says to you, I feel ugly, don't dismiss it and say you're not ugly. That doesn't help at all. What you need to do is ask, why, baby, do you feel that way? What's making you say that? You have to look beyond the words and get to the real issue. Feelings are neither right nor wrong. They're just there. She shouldn't have to defend her feelings. She needs to know that you have received what she has said. She needs to know that you're listening to her and that you really do care. Now, this goes both ways for male and female. Once again, James 3.17 says, But the wisdom from above is first of all pure. It is also peace-loving, gentle at all times, and willing to yield to others. It is full of mercy and the fruit of good deeds. It shows no favoritism and is always sincere. Beloved, with heaven's wisdom, you'll stop diminishing other people's feelings. You'll let him feel tired when he's tired and not try to talk him out of it. You'll let her feel depressed when she's depressed and not try to talk her out of it. But the most important thing to do is always let each other know that you've received what they've said or what they're going through and you're attentive and you're there for them. Beloved, Become more considerate about how other people feel. Amen. Amen. Will you pray with me? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, today I come to you in prayer to pray for those who are inconsiderate of other people's feelings. Lord God, I'm asking you to teach them to learn the virtue of considering 
you first and then others before themselves. Lord God, please give them the wisdom to know when to stop and humble themselves with simple acts of consideration for others. May both their words and actions be full of consideration. And I pray they will say and do things that promote peace rather than division. And lastly, Lord God, may their acts of consideration set an example for others in regards to promoting peace. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen and amen. Beloved, the best use of life is love. The best expression of love is time. The best time to love is now. So today, reach out to someone you love and tell them you love them because telling them later just might be too late. Have a blessed day, everyone. Bible Fellowship G-H-O-L Bible Fellowship Yeah.